A lot of people in warmer climates like to use just pure water in their cooling system and that can be all right, but you have to use the right kind of water in that situation. Even if you think your car has been rebuilt and has got the most pristine cooling system and you found the most pure source of water available, you still want to use coolant. Coolant has anti-corrosion properties that are going to help maintain your cooling system. This thermosiphon system doesn't have a water pump, even though you don't need that water pump lubricant that's in the coolant. The anti-corrosive properties in that coolant is going to be much more friendly to the metal components in the system. The engine block, that could be iron or aluminum, and the radiator, that could be, normally it's aluminum, but there's even brass and copper radiators out there. You're going to want that coolant in there for maintaining those parts. So now that we know not to use just water, what kind of coolant do you want to use in a classic car system like this? Your normal run-of-the-mill ethylene glycol coolant is going to be a good overall choice for cars like that, but you definitely want to check the forums to see if there's any better coolant you can run in your car, any incompatible coolants you want to be aware of, and check any kind of aftermarket parts you buy for the system, especially for like a radiator, and see if they have any recommendations for the type of coolant to be running in your system. While ethylene glycol coolants tend to be that bright green color that most people think of when they think of coolant, there are other types and colors of coolants out there that are ethylene glycol base. Their chemistry has been modified a little to be more compatible with modern engines. Things like plastic parts have made their way into cooling systems and they need to be compatible with that. You probably won't have to deal with that much on a classic car that you haven't modified much, but you do want to consider that if you've added some sort of plastic part, made it more modern, or you may want to consider an alternate coolant for its longer lifespan. The basic ethylene glycol coolants of today, even the green ones, last longer than their counterparts from decades ago, but you still have to flush it out every now and then. Another option you can consider is a coolant additive like one of these. This one, for example, says one ounce or three to four capfuls per quart or one bottle per automotive cooling system of 12 to 20 quarts. There are formulas on here where you just have water in the system and then you add this for your anti-corrosion properties. It says less than 50% antifreeze provides further improvement in temperature reduction, but at least 15% antifreeze should be used in street vehicles. That street use is important to note because stuff like this is sometimes used in race cars where they're going to be raced on a track that doesn't allow ethylene glycol coolant to be used because if you get in a crash, they don't want that stuff getting all over the track. This diesel formula by a different brand has similar instructions on the back. So if you've made it to this video and this far in the video, you're probably working on a cool project car. Let me know what you're working on in the comments below, and if you want to learn more about cars, consider subscribing to the channel. I produce automotive content on a regular basis, and either way, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video.